So we have some new details on the Batman Penguin spin-off series, including some now confirmed details on the filming and a potential tease surrounding the direction of the show. The HBO Max series, which is the first spin-off for Matt Reeves' The Batman Universe, has now officially begun its production, and alongside the smaller updates we got, we can expect to be hearing much more in the weeks and months ahead. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the new updates from The Penguin Show, and giving you my thoughts on a new image that was shared to celebrate the first day of production. Before I get into it though, if you want to keep up to date on any of my future content surrounding the Penguin series, the Batman universe, and other upcoming DC projects, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. But without further ado, let's dive into the new filming updates surrounding the Penguin. So the long-awaited The Batman spin-off series The Penguin has finally started shooting in New York City. The news broke via production designer Kalina Ivanov's post, who shared a picture of a black and white compass, which is visible on the floor of the set they appear to be filming on. The post read that the first day of shooting The Penguin is in the can, and that only the compass can tell us in what Gotham direction we're going. I will be getting into what this compass is and what it could be alluding to in a few moments, but there were also some other details that we learnt about the first few weeks of filming on the Batman show, which I'm going to be briefly going over before. First is a leaked image that details that the Penguin is going to be going by the working title Boss, and that it's set to film outdoors in New York City on March the 8th. The Penguin production is looking for extras as another photo confirms that they are looking for those nearby that are over 18 and smoke. So we could probably guess that this is to do with the Penguin's henchmen or those of another mob boss and ultimately the production needing those to be in the background of certain scenes. The most exciting thing about these reveals is that we can expect to see set photos and first looks at scenes being filmed around the 8th of March in New York, which is as soon as next Wednesday, so if we do start to get behind the scenes images, then I will be keeping you up to date on what was shown here on the channel. Whatever set images do come out, they may give us a better idea of what scenes and characters are going to be a part of the HBO series, and who knows, we might even get a look at Robert Pattinson's Batman, who is rumoured to make a cameo in the Penguin series himself. I doubt we'll see that though, because if he is a part of the show or in one or a few scenes, then I guess they'd want to keep that solely to indoor filming so that leaked images and footage doesn't get out to the public. But regardless, I'm sure we'll be getting something tasty surrounding what we might be seeing. For now, what we do know about the HBO series is that Colin Farrell will be playing the Penguin alongside Kristin Milioti's Sophia Falcone and four new additions to the cast, including Renzi Feliz from Marvel's Runaways, Michael Kelly from House of Cards, Sharer Agdashlu from House of Sand and Fog, and Dierde O'Connell from The Requin. While we're yet to find out more about the characters being portrayed by these new additions, Colin Farrell did recently share a few details about the Penguin during interviews. According to the actor, the Penguin will be an eight-part series, with each episode being around one hour in length, and it will be about Cobblepot's rise to power as he fills the power vacuum created when Falcone was killed. He also shared in those interviews that the makeup is more perfected, they spent three days in New York doing that alone, the show is dark, and that it has extraordinary scripts. So at the moment, we can only be excited for what's in store, and as I mentioned before, hopefully we'll start to see some extended looks from the set photos that come out following filming on March the 8th. Moving on to the image that I talked about before, there are some things that we can discuss surrounding what this is and what the compass might be alluding to. Now, the black and white compass seemingly confirms that the first scenes for the Penguin series will be set in Carmine Falcone's apartment, which is of course a prime location from the Batman film. For one, production designer Kalina Ivanov's photo has the same symbol that was on the flooring design of the original set. And two, Colin Farrell did confirm a while back that the opening scene of the series will be set in that very location. 
He said to Extra TV in an interview the other week that it starts about a week after the film ends, so Gotham is still somewhat underwater. He added, I read the first script for the first episode, and it opens up with my feet splashing through the water in Falcone's office. So it looks like they are definitely filming this moment and other scenes that are set within Carmine's office before they get to outdoor scenes, which they are filming on March the 8th. When it comes to the compass design itself, many fans and even viewers on my channel have mentioned that this could also be alluding to a long-awaited fill-in, one that has been rumoured to be a part of Matt Reeves' Batman universe in some way, shape or form. And that's none other than the Court of Owls. The theory is that like with the symbols used by the Court of Owls, which are typically found on buildings and interiors in Gotham City, this could be an unmarked compass that alludes to the many secret layers that they have around the city. And after all the discovered corruption surrounding Falcone and the rich in the first Batman movie, maybe this is opening the door to a much more secret organisation pulling the strings. And this is why fans are theorising that this could be linked to the Court of Owls. I have to say, I think this is a very good theory and it is interesting to me that this compass is the first image that the production designer shared for the show. For all we know, it might just turn out to be a cool look at one of the many symbols in Falcone's office that the PD is sharing with us, but it's the detail in that very office and that compass being shared now that makes me think that this could all be building towards the Court of Owls or something like that. Now, if it is Court of Owls related, we don't know if they are going to be a part of this show, The Batman Part 2, or one of the projects down the line, but it is intriguing to think about. They certainly do fill the void of a villain that can be built towards and discovered over time, and it would definitely connect and expand upon the idea and themes of the corrupt and wealthy in Gotham being a part of something much deeper. Heck, maybe even Falcone was a part of that ring, and it might explain why he has a symbol like this on his very flooring. We'll just have to see, and like I said before, it may just turn out to be a sole reference to them filming in his office. But that was my video discussing all the new updates on the Penguin series. Overall, we should be getting more on the series soon, whether it be teases, character reveals, or set photos from the filming, to really fill us in on what direction the show goes in following the ending of The Batman. It was confirmed the other week that this Penguin show would lead directly into The Batman Part 2, so whatever does happen, it will have a big impact on either The Penguin's journey or Gotham as a whole when it comes to that sequel film. And for all we know, the Court of Owls or another villain might be a big reason for that. But what are your thoughts towards all the latest filming details and do you have any other theories on what that compass design in Falcone's office could mean? Let me know down below in the comment section. For much more videos and news on the Batman universe and DC, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex and as always, make some noise.